Hey, this is Katie Trainer, and um, I'll, I'll call it the Everything Show because that's what I was calling it, but it's not really the Everything Show. It's just me talking on a camera now. But here we are. It's Columbus Day. So we decided to make it National Native American Day to celebrate uh, the, uh, the original founders of America, <clears throat> the people that were already here. So out in nature we are celebrating just everything green, everything that they'd appreciate, you know, like the sacred geometry of this little cute guy on divine proportion to itself. Fibonacci and uh, the moss. Isn't it beautiful? Like a little baby pet. <laughs> anyway, I love it. And um, yeah, just, just a day to honor the, uh, what, what do we call it? The, tr the traditional beings of this land, the uh, the ones that appreciated this stuff, and so now that's what I'm doing today. I'm out appreciating the cute pieces of that which nature is, and I'm wearing green pants and green socks to do so too. Actually, I didn't plan that. I'm wearing green pants and green socks for some strange reason. I just got them, but. Uh, that works perfectly in alignment with that which I wanted to do today anyway, which was appreciate things. Mountain laurel, uh, evergreen, and uh, we're going to Boxcar Rocks. So that's pretty close. Only we missed the trail, so we're going back. <laughs> <laughs> so we're almost there now. But yeah. So happy National Native American. Uh, by national, I mean just myself and Kat have decided that it is National Native American Day, but it is. is this, wait, is this the trail? Yes, this is the trail. We found it. Ah. So we're going to Box Trail to make another Native American appreciation video up there. Or, no, I, I can't say Native American. I have to say uh, nature, natural America, maybe we'll <laughs> call it. Natural America Appreciation Day. So, <sighs> Roxylvania, baby. Hey, welcome. This is Katie Trainer, and I'm here at the Everything Show, or Katie Travels, or just enjoyable things. And um, it is uh, we're, we're here right now on um, what's this place called? This is called Boxcar Rocks. And so what it looks like is a whole bunch of uh, boxcars, kind of like the tops of trucks. They're, I mean, these rocks are like the size of a truck bed, you know, like a, a big semi truck. The Appalachian Mountains in uh, Pennsylvania, and you know it's pretty beautiful. You can climb up them, hang out. So uh, this wind is kind of kind of scaring me a little bit, though, honestly. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get down for a second, and I'll talk to you down here. Um, so today is Columbus Day, and I wanted to go out and support, uh, you know, not Columbus, but the Native Americans and uh, their their appreciation for nature. So here we are up on the top of a, an ancient mountain range on top of the the remains. It's basically the, I, I like to call it the skeleton of the mountain. So, um, so I just uh, I wanted to talk about the, the free flow of air, the, how you can hear it. You can't see it, you can't, uh, you can sense it, right? So you can sense, uh, you can feel the air, you can see what it does to the trees and the branches and stuff. But you personally don't see it, but you can fill yourself with it. And our whole entire life really does rely upon our uh, consumption of air. You know, from the moment we're born, we ask, is it breathing? And, you know, every time somebody's unconscious, we ask, are they breathing? That's an indicator of life. And here we are, with life all around us right now, very top of the mountain range. And, you know, it's like, you can go, I'm a big fan of this, this little analogy. You can go a couple weeks without food, you can go a couple days without water, but you can like go a couple moments without air. And that's not just something that hippies talk about, you know? They do talk about it. Breathe deep, right? What? Breathe deep. Breathe deep and be in the now. No, people actually 
it's real, it's true. And when you get out to the, out in nature and you're not like distracted by television or anything, uh, you can really feel the strength, the power of life and the power of a simple gust. A simple gust standing at the wrong place, stepping at the wrong time could result in your demise. So you have to respect the power of nature. I mean, it is strong, it's beautiful, but the gravity exists. You can descend with it. I mean, it's everywhere, obviously, but there's so many other things other than just gravity that we don't acknowledge as a culture. And there's other forces that are present. You know, anybody will talk about the electromagnetic spectrum like that. I mean, instantaneously we are... We are everything. So I just wanted to say how I appreciate that today on this National Columbus Day, more so my opinion to be nature or Native American or American Nature Day. So happy American Nature Day, everybody. <sighs> no, but seriously, this is awesome. <laughs> Hello, welcome. This is Katie Trainer with The Everything Show. And Kat just brought up a really good concept talking about going back in time and how uh, we always go back in our, like we talk about going back and change, like stepping on a bug and it changes the entire existence of everything. And we're recording, just making sure. But what if you could, like, like our future selves going back in time would be our current selves right now. So if you take the whole concept of having to go back in time to change things and just apply it to how much can you ripple right this very moment, how much can you change the world around you for the future? If you think about it just as that, and take the future portion out of it, of us having to come back, we're already here. We're already now. We're already rippling. So how much, how much good can we continue to ripple through the world? And let's soak that in.